Okay, uh, good afternoon everyone. Uh, I'm very glad to he uh, hear today. Uh, today, I, uh, I would like to talk about how we migrated from our legacy system to Vanish uh, and the useful tools developed in the process. Uh, sorry, I, I'm very nervous. Uh, let's, uh, let's start then. Uh, okay. Is it a PDF? No. Uh, My name is Shohei Tanaka. Uh, call me Iwana-chan. Uh, I'm from Tokyo. Uh, I've been uh, working at GUI uh, since January this year. Uh, GUI is a, a leading social game platform company in Japan. Uh, I enjoy the heavy network traffic and my excellent colleagues. I created uh, some Vanish modules, uh, LDAP, uh, EG Direct, and post request parser and uh, dynamic backend. Uh, back, dynamic backend is a proof of concept. And my blog has some vanish and uh, remote tips. Uh, for example, uh, how to hook a uh, virtual action uh, at v uh, vanish beginner pitfalls, and more. I'd be glad if you would check out my blog. And I've also written Japanese Vanish guidebook. Uh, this is distributed in my blog. And I may uh, write a version for books. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, this time, uh, we successfully migrate from our legacy system to Vanish uh, in uh, in a, a short period of three months uh, without any downtimes. How did we manage? To this, uh, our system is not a small one, uh, handles a high volume of traffic, and has grown to be very complex uh, due to accumulated and dirty hacks, uh, sorry, uh, shortcuts and dirty hacks accumulated throughout this year. As you may uh, already know, uh, we provide a social game platform service on which downtime is not acceptable. In Japan, uh, social game market has been rapidly expanding, and we had to keep patching the system to keep up with the rapidly increasing traffic. Uh, sorry, uh, I can't uh, reveal exact numbers, but we deal with a huge amount of traffic. Uh, domain and backend uh, has uh, more than uh, 100 columns. Uh, we experience uh, very high traffic, uh, connection, and request volumes. Uh, on top of that, our service uh, has to support many device types. Uh, PCs, uh, smartphones, uh, not problem. But uh, Japan, uh, Jap in Japan, legacy mobile phone is have various distractions. Uh, for example, uh, legacy mobile phone uh, don't support keep alive. Uh, this results in much more uh, connections. Uh, the market is migrating uh, towards smartphones, uh, but such legacy devices uh, still have uh, large shares. This, ma uh, this makes things even more difficult for us. Uh, this is a rough overview of our new system. Uh, layout is very simple, uh, scalable, high offload and full transfers. Uh, objects uh, want to be duplicated across uh, and reversible by using hash director. Uh, we also have uh, image operation servers uh, that generate some waves uh, and barcode for images. 
image operation server uh, used to Apache and Vanish. Uh, this is a VCL layout. Uh, VCL settings are split into two uh, because uh, there are more than one server types, uh, level one, uh, level two, and image operation server. I don't write, uh, I don't want to write uh, duplicate logics. Uh, common settings have ACL, uh, normalized uh, security, ban, and more. Uh, server role settings have backend, backend defined uh, directory ACL, rewrite, and more domain special settings. Uh, is, is interesting. Uh, if the same num name action is included, it's more orderly. I call same action to common settings and server settings in maturity. It's very useful. Uh, why use Vanish? Uh, Green has never used Vanish. Uh, oh, sorry. Uh, VCL is a very powerful DSL. The ability to write if, if statement is especially powerful. Uh, most of the middleware uh, setting is some flux each. Uh, of course, uh, complexity uh, should be avoided as much as possible with settings. But the uh, ability to use if statement allow an otherwise large amount of flux switch uh, to be written in a more simple and intuitive manner. You can make uh, things simpler if you uh, use them effectively. Also, uh, it's difficult for us uh, to modify our existing other systems. Uh, VCL uh, could easily fit into an existing system. Uh, I like VCL's uh, ex expressive power. Of course, our health check is also very useful, and the bench test is also our uh, Bias test is also very important to us. We have a large amount of domains, so it's very important for us to modify VCL with a certain level of integrity. Some other banish tools, uh, such as Rebanish API, are also useful. Uh, lastly, uh, and more importantly, I don't banish. Uh, this is most important uh, reason. Uh, uh, I love testing. Uh, here, uh, uh, why are testing so important? Uh, because uh, VCL uh, is a programming language. And programming language comes with bugs. Uh, and we have different VCL uh, package. Uh, for, common, uh, for common and server roles, uh, unit testing for common settings are important. Uh, but uh, really important testing uh, the integration testing for common and server role settings. And sometimes, even if uh, unit testing passes successfully, but integration testing uh, can still fail. I prefer and use punish test for testing. At first look, uh, you can tell that, uh, sorry, uh, you can tell that uh, this is a bind test failed. I can understand uh, some parts, but not other parts. Uh, red square uh, and blue square are point, uh, points to take note of, uh, but those points are valid. It's difficult to search for problems. I won't search for problems, but it's uh, rather difficult. You can imagine uh, how difficult looking for errors uh, in this situation can be. So I made a VC strands. Uh, VC strands uh, basically summarizes uh, all the important data for easy reading. Uh, this tool helps me uh, sort out bind test logs in order to make it more readable. Uh, let me show you why uh, I think this is better. Uh, why is the raw log uh, why is uh, the raw log difficult to understand? Uh, because 
uh, it's hard to see them, uh, them in terms of events start and event end. The solution, uh, I split important events and add details. Uh, for example, uh, please take a look of the rocks with, uh, with strands and the low balance rocks, uh, which is easier to read. Uh, such as uh, process V1. Uh, with V2 strands, you can clearly see and understand that it has started the V1 balance process. Don't you think uh, this is better? And macro list. Uh, I think this is uh, very simple and needs no further explanation. You can clearly uh, see which one is better. And uh, header and expected result are the most important. Which uh, strands uh, displays the expected results and head the list together for each reading. Up to this point, uh, we talk a bit about testing. Uh, testing are uh, important, but they only apply for active staging servers. So, what is the most important thing? It's performance tuning. Uh, the, the basic rules of performance tuning is to uh, measure, don't guess. Uh, well, I don't mean uh, that complexity, uh, completely no guessing should be involved. Uh, capacity planning, uh, such as a number of initial threads, uh, server specs, and placement uh, for transfers are important. But measuring after release is more important. Uh, fill gaps is in graces uh, by doing actual measurements uh, and tune performance accordingly. I'd like to introduce uh, some measurements uh, commands and options I used uh, by NCSA uh, uh, for extracting the client error and server errors. Uh, by start, of course, and like uh, by history. I think it's cool uh, to look at. Also, Vanish Log. Vanish uh, Log and Vanish NCSA was used a lot. But uh, this is a Vanish Log output. Uh, I can't read this. Uh, I think uh, the biggest uh, weak, point to point, uh, weak, point, weak, uh, weak point of Vanish is a log output. Uh, it uses a lot of, uh, it's, uh, it uses a lot and has wonderfully detailed data, but it's difficult to use, and is and is tough for beginners. Uh, specific, uh, specifically, uh, ESI or restart output is terrible to look at. ESI parent and child output is not separated, so it's extremely uh, difficult to read. Transaction start and end is too difficult to find. I want it, uh, it's too easier to use, uh, so I made something myself. Uh, VSL trans, uh, I make uh, more reader. Uh, this is a remake of uh, Veltrans PHP. Uh, what it has changed uh, first is use a revised API, uh, which eliminates the lags in PHP version. Uh, PHP version is read from standard input, many, many lags. Uh, I also uh, cleaned up the code. I will discuss with how dirty the, uh, the code uh, was the PHP version. When I tried to add uh, functionality to it, lastly, Python is included to most distribution, but PHP is not included. This is a screenshot of general information output. Uh, left is VSL trans, uh, right is Vanishro. 
you can see that uh, you can see that the uh, VSA transversion is more readable. Output is grouped uh, grouped by color in the screenshot. As you can see, uh, Banshiro output is hard to read. Hard to read because related information is scattered uh, throughout the output. Response time uh, use backend names and the numbers, ESI restart number, uh, error list, and hash and value information uh, is important. As it's a frequent uh, cause of puzzling uh, cache miss. This is uh, uh, this output is visual actions. Uh, simple is simple and easy readable. Uh, if you use standard log output from it, will be available here with visual log Visual log Uh, lastly, uh, variable output. Uh, this should be uh, quite self-explanatory. But I still uh, I still want more measurement. Hit rate, uh, transfer size request by different hosts and directories. Uh, why uh, do we need detailed measurement? Uh, we often see bunch uh, uh, statistics, uh, but these are summarized. summarized. Imagine an uh, environment with both uh, dynamically generated objects uh, and static objects. Dynamic objects uh, would result in low hit rate, but static objects would raise the hit rate. System loss uh, could be much higher than uh, than what bunch hit rate shows. It's necessary uh, to separate results by object cost. However, you cannot uh, accomplish the, uh, this with just this uh, the difficult uh, default command. If it doesn't exist, uh, create it. Uh, that's where Revise API comes in. Uh, you can do it. Uh, what Revise API? Uh, it's, a, uh, it's a library uh, that allows each access to VSL. VSL is bunch shared memory log. Uh, bunch doesn't uh, write the uh, logs to files, but shared memory instead. Uh, the uh, bunch D process writes to VSL. Uh, the uh, prevent a uh, prevent uh, outputting detail. Uh, sorry, uh, other programs such as uh, bunch NCC, bunch log uh, read from it. The prevent uh, outputting detailed logs uh, from affecting the bunch D process. You can access the VSL with Rebunch API. Default bunch commands uh, such as uh, bunch NCSA log and other use the bunch API. You can use the bunch API uh, to write the uh, equivalent commands if you wish to. And of course, improve upon them uh, next time. I use Python C types and it proves to be very simple to use. Uh, I make a uh, sample. This is a sample, uh, sample of VSL data output. Uh, I made it uh, slightly more readable. The, uh, the first part of the code, uh, course no. Non blocking uh, dispatch. Uh, Cause non blocking dispatch function in wire loop. And part of callback function, it's simple. Process the data and print it. This program is uh, 56 lines, very small and simple. 
you can detail measurement uh, if you use reverse API. Uh, reverse API with Python is very easy to use. Let's hack on with reverse API and vanish. Uh, better than making uh, measuring tools for scratch, uh, from scratch. So to sum up, uh, our migrate project is not, uh, was not easy, but finished without any downtime. Because about uh, solve the problems by testing before release. Optimize performance by detailed, uh, by detailed performance measuring after release. Vanish is very powerful and have useful tools and API. It's success. I hope my presentation uh, was helpful to you uh, in one way or another. Uh, thank you for your attention. Any questions? Very uh, some domains, but it's not the uh, same. Um, not. Okay. Well, now we have. Uh, Thanks, Xir, for joining us. Pax, feeling better? Yeah. Right.